For the second year in a row, we got playoff hockey from the Ice Hogs. They started the first of a three-game series with the Iowa Wild on home ice at the BMO. Two teams that have seen each other a time or two. Arvid Soderblom in goal last night was undefeated in five games against the Wild coming into this one. Just over three minutes into the game, the Wild struck first. Mitchell Balmas beat Soderblom with an even strength goal. 1-0 Wild. But only 18 seconds later, the Ice Hogs answer. David Gus strikes. It's 1-1. Now late in the first, the Ice Hogs took their first lead. Isaac Phillips with the puck shoots and Brett Sini is there for the rebound goal. It was two to one. Second period now, the Ice Hogs were shut out, but the Wild took advantage of a power play. Steven Fogarty scored to tie things up at two. That's how the second period ended. A scoreless third sent this one to overtime, of course, and it's Rocco Grimaldi to seal the deal. The Ice Hogs take game one three to two in an OT thriller. And our Scott Lever is live right now at the BMO after quite the postseason thriller. He's got the reaction for us. Hi, Scott. Hello, Reagan. What a way to start off the playoffs, huh? With an overtime victory here at the BMO. It was a super exciting night for a midweek Wednesday night in Rockford. You know, these two teams were so evenly matched during the regular season. In fact, they both finished with 79 standing points. And in seven of their 12 regular season games, they went to shootouts. So is anybody surprised they went to overtime here tonight? No, I don't think so. Unfortunately, the good guys in red came away with the win thanks to Rocco Grimaldi's game-winning goal. I spoke to Grimaldi just a few minutes ago. Rocco, how's it feel to debut with an overtime game winner? No, it was great. Uh, it's a huge win for our team, especially with two on the road here. So um, I thought we played a good game. Uh, I thought we were a little bit slower in the third, but uh, for the most part, I thought we had a we had a good, strong game. Guys were playing really hard, play, playing really well, um, strong defensively. Had a couple of chances that just didn't go in. Their goalie played great too. So uh, I'm just glad to come out with the win and you know go into their barn up 1-0. Describe that game winner for us. Yeah, I was just I was just coming off on a change, and it was kind of a slow neutral zone play. And uh, the guy tried to pass up the boards. I just batted it out of the air and. Had some room to skate it in and, and shot it, and thankfully it went in. What a, what a night for the Grimaldi family. Abby, your wife, starts it off with a fantastic national anthem. You end it with the game winner. Well, how much celebrating are you two going to be able to do tonight? Huh? She'll be happier than I am, for <laughs> sure. I know that when I see her, she's going to be um, you know, really excited. So that was awesome. You know, it's, that's her, I think, third or fourth time she's you know, sang in one of, one of my games. And first playoff game, so that's pretty special. You obviously want to get the win for her, and for me to score the OT winner is kind of the cherry on top, so I'm um, just trying to get her more gigs. What's it say to, to come? Yeah, so what a night, huh, for the Grimaldi family. A storybook-type night. Abby was sensational with the anthem to start it off. Rocco was sensational to finish it off with the win. It's a Grimaldi night. It's a Rockford Ice Hogs night here at the BMO. Now they head to Iowa up one game to none. Game two will be played Friday night. That's the story from the BMO. I'll send it back to you, Reagan. Sensational indeed. All right, thanks, Scott.